welcome back to Good Morning Kenya. This is Transformative Leaders. And today we are going to talk about youth and leadership. And in studio, I am joined by one honorable David Mwangi, who is a business, uh, a business mas, um, a, a businessman rather, and a youth leader. Karibu sana to the studio. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm fine. Karibu sana. How are you doing? Yes, very, very fine. <laughs> yes. Sasa, mm -hmm. you've been involved in youth leadership. Yes. Talk to us about that journey. Okay. Yes. Uh, some people say leadership, you're born with it. Others say you learn it along the way. Yeah. Some others say when you die, you learn it, so I don't know when. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, my name is David Mwangi. I was born in a place called Kericha. I grew up in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. uh, by then, I didn't also know I was a leader, but now it begins from there, whereby I would see myself trying to make decisions for crowds and for large groups. Yeah. Uh, let me start from university. That is the best place to start with. Yeah. <coughs> uh, my leadership journey started in university. Mm -hmm. I was in Maseno University. Mm -hmm. uh, I became and I was elected a student leader in Maseno University mm -hmm. for my three years that I was there. Yes. So that is where actually I began. Mm -hmm. I was a secretary general. First I was the acting. I became the secretary. Then mm -hmm. finally I became an acting president mm -hmm. in Maseno University. Mm -hmm. uh, after university, now that's where another story begins because after university, the question is what next? Yeah. Exactly. What next in terms of leadership, in terms of career, in yeah. terms of everything? Your, mm -hmm. your life begins afresh. Mm -hmm. So I came to Nairobi. Uh, I've worked for Jimmy Wanjigi as his PA. Mm -hmm. So, connect. So now I decided in the same year when he was running for president, yes. I decided also to run for the Nairobi senator. Yes. I was young yet, very young then. Yes. No much finances, but at least we hit the road running. Yes. And I became number three. Yes. Out of the possible number fourteen. Yes. yes. When you talk about politics, I see your journey started in in politics. Let's in politics started early. Yes. So talk about the experience you had especially when you ran for the nairobi senatorship okay yes politics is not a walk in the park yes uh, it's a, it's where men fight uh -huh. men between the age of 18 and uh, 90 mm -hmm. to, to say so yes whereby no one understands your age but the fight is towards the goal mm -hmm. and Sometimes the goal is not helping the Kenyans or helping the people. Yeah. The goal is getting the, the seat. Yeah. That is why we lose the track. But now uh, it doesn't make you, because you want to change people's life, now it makes you weaker or mm -hmm. it makes you at an advantage. You mm -hmm. still have to fight. You yeah. still have to enter into the, into the mud mm -hmm. and fight. Yes. So uh, my political journey hasn't been easy. One, number one, I didn't have finances, as I said. I've met stronger people, yeah. with bigger finances. Yes. Uh, they were hitting me left, right, and center. <laughs> you go to some uh, areas, you chase away. You go to some areas, you tell, we won't listen to you. Yes. Back out to party, yes. But all in all, you know, we talk to the people. We made the youth understand that it's yes. not about the money. It's yes. about the vision and the focus. Yes. yes. It also teaches you about resilience. Yes. So <coughs> how would you say you grew in terms of resilience during that time? Uh, politics has made me be more resilient. Mm -hmm. It has made my mental very strong, yeah. very strong. Because now I come to understand to a point that I can understand that uh, life is about challenges. Mm -hmm. It's about fighting. Yeah. And the battle that you put on today is a battle that you should make sure that you can put it again in 10 years to mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. uh, d never fear the size of the dog. Yes. Someone told me that. Yes. Always fear the fight inside the dog. Yes. yes. Now, that speaks to, it brings to mind the aspect of the place of youth in politics. Yes. What do you think, wh or where are we so far in terms of the place of youth in politics? Uh, worldwide, we have 1.65 percent of youth in elective positions. That mm -hmm. is the youth between 15 and around 28 years. Yes. Uh, below 40, that is below, that is between 15 and 40 years. We have 11. Point, I think 85 percent. Mm -hmm. That is worldwide. You find that that figure is not even balancing, mm -hmm. whereby the youth between below 40 years are about more than 50 percent of mm -hmm. the current generation, yeah. of the current world population. Mm -hmm. But the representation is so poor and uh, it doesn't work. Because why? The, most of the youth who enter those politics, at those political positions, sorry, mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. most of them are not, they have not done it by their own. Mm -hmm. It's a, someone who has to, taken them from somewhere. Mm -hmm. they, they are like, they have godfathers, so yes. they work for someone. M like mentors? Like, not only mentors, mm -hmm. those are godfathers. A okay. godfather is not a mentor. Okay. That one, they work for people. Mm -hmm. But now, if you have a mentor, it's someone that he mentors you how to lead. Mm -hmm. But now most of the leaders that we have who are youth, and also they are very few, mm -hmm. they really cannot, they have to dance to some tune. 
exactly. they cannot dance to the tune of the public and the general needs that we have. Mm -hmm. That is one of the challenges. Mm -hmm. And then now when you see if that we're having uh, that 1.65 or 85% of the youth, yeah. the representation is poor such that the youth, the youth doing the leadership at that point is mm -hmm. overburdened. Yes. And so it's so hard for them to move. For example, if they're moving uh, uh, matters in, in parliament, if they're moving bills in parliament, mm -hmm. the voting will not lead towards the youth. Yes. It will always be. And a lot of stories. Yes. yes. What do you think discourages the youth in getting into politics? Ah, four things discourage the youth mm -hmm. from getting into politics. Yeah. Let's start with the first thing is finance. Exactly. Whether we like it or not, we have to talk about finance. Uh, personal party, we mean money to fuel your campaigns, mm -hmm. money, not, I won't say money to bribe people, but money to fuel your campaigns, yes. <laughs> money also to pay a few workers that work with you because they have to eat by the end of the day. Yes. Uh, we're also talking about money for, public, for, for publicizing yes. your, 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 your stories, your pictures, yeah. your, your agendas, and yes. so on and so forth. We're talking about money for transport movement from one place to another. For example, Nairobi has 90, around 90 words. 90 words you have to move through during the campaign yes. and you have to enter all of them since you need the, 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 votes. The, 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 the votes you can imagine the financial muscle that you need for mm -hmm. that you also need money for security because you have to be secured yeah. and uh, that is one of the challenges number two the other challenge that the youth have is the ability or the mental capacity you'll find that mimi leo if i'm fighting for a political seat why should i fight for a political seat yet i'm sleeping hungry i first look for money eat fast clothe fast, have a shelter fast. That is the basic thing that a youth needs right now. And uh, I w it is so rare to find a youth who will go out of their way and say, now I'm comfortable here, now let me run for po a political seat or mm -hmm. an elective position. Mm -hmm. That is number, number two. Number three, we're having support from the current uh, generation, that is the youth mm -hmm. and the older generation. Mm -hmm. You'll find that uh, very few youth support their own. Yes. Most of the youth will be carried away by money. They'll be carried away by, they'll say, ah, who can idea when you help this youth? Mm -hmm. He will go and leave us. He'll get the money. So yes. we will not assist him. Yes. So that is another challenge. Mm -hmm. The fourth challenge is having a political vehicle. And that we've already said. Uh, a political vehicle, in terms of this, uh, when we're talking about a political vehicle, we mean a party. This country has no party that supports the youth properly. Mm -hmm. You find that if you're supposed to pay a nomination fee of 200,000, the, the ICC, the, the, in the IBC, sorry, yes, uh, at least it, 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 sub, it sub divides the, the fee into a half. But sometimes it is too much, even the half the youth cannot afford. So if a, if a youth cannot uh, be able to, to get food, are they able to get the money to pay the political parties? Mm -hmm. They are not. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the challenges that are really messing up the space mm -hmm. for the youth. Yes. yes. In your own perspective, is there something, when you talk about youth and leadership, especially in politics, is there something that uh, the youth miss out if they do not participate in these things? Uh, in life, when you miss presentation, when you miss participation, when you miss presence, you're nowhere. There is no way you'd live where you're not available. Mm -hmm. You will not be uh, living in your house if you're never there. Yeah. So when the youth are not in the leadership, when they're not in the positions that are mm -hmm. there, yeah. they miss out. Yes. Why? Because during the debates, no one will represent them. Mm -hmm. During all these stories that will go on and people will take proposals to the president, to the senator, to the, to, to the governor, mm -hmm. if no one fights for the voice of the youth, nobody will, will, will fight for them. Yes. And it is not because they don't want to fight for them. It's mm -hmm. because they don't understand yes. the current youth. Yes. Uh, we are having two types of youth right now. We are having a generation called Generation, uh, I think Alpha or Z, I don't know, uh, the young youth, yes. and we are having the youth around, around 25 to 35. Yes. Those are two different personalities. Yes. You'll find that, that this other generation, people are think that they are lagging behind because they are lazy. No, it's because their representation, what they want right now in life, mm -hmm. is not well taken care of yes. and represented. I'm going to cut you short, but <coughs> we are coming back to that point yes. after this short break. Thank you.